In the previous video, we have concluded this equation which was nothing but d square v by dx square is equal to gamma square v, right? We will continue from the same equation. Now, if I solve this equation, we know that what we are going to get, right? So, let me say that I am going to get something in terms of v x and t, let me call that voltage in terms of x and t which is nothing but space and time, I am going to get v plus e to the power minus gamma x plus v minus e to the power plus gamma x. Let us understand this equation. So, what I am saying is if I solve this, right, you have already solved the particular integrals in maths, right. So, if I solve this, I am going to get a voltage, right, because this was voltage, right. So, the voltage in terms of space and time, x is nothing but your space and t is nothing but net time what I am going to get is v plus e to the power minus gamma x. v plus is some constant, okay. v minus is again some constant. e to the power minus gamma x is some quantity, we will see what is that and e to the power plus gamma x. Now, let us say that, let me say this is the voltage in terms of space and time. But if I want the instantaneous value, what I need to do that because the voltage will be sinusoidal in nature, right? So, what I need to do is nothing but if I have to just multiply the home equation by e to the power j omega t, right? This will be nothing but your instantaneous value, right? Now, if you are dealing with only the RMS and the peak value, we can use this equation. But if you want the instantaneous value, you have to multiply with e to the power j omega t, which is nothing but the sinusoidal nature. Now, what is this gamma? Let us talk about this gamma. Gamma is actually called as the propagation constant. It is called as the propagation constant. We have already seen when we have been studying the plane wave equation, right? There was also a propagation constant, right? So, this gamma would be nothing but alpha plus j beta, right? where your alpha would be nothing but attenuation constant, it will be nothing but your attenuation constant, where beta is nothing but your phase constant. So, it is a constant. Now, if I substitute here, okay which is nothing but alpha plus j beta. Now, what I am going to do is, I am going to assume it is a lossless medium. We know that what is a lossless medium, where the free charge carrier in that medium would be 0, right? So, if it is a lossless medium, the alpha would be 0, right? So, we are taking a case of lossless medium or we can say that for lossless medium, alpha would be 0. So, we are very peculiar about the lossless medium and see how the equation will go if I deal with a lossless medium, right? So, what I am going to do is, I am going to continue this equation for alpha equal to 0. So, v x of t, let us deal with only the peak value or the RMS value, uh, oh, okay, let us take that. So, it will be v plus e to the power minus gamma would be nothing but minus alpha plus j beta, right? T sorry, it would be x, right? So, we are dealing with x. So, it would be x. So, gamma is nothing but the gamma is nothing but alpha plus j beta, which I have substituted here, and it would be x. For instantaneous value, it would be e to the power j omega t, right? Another quantity would be here, which would be nothing but plus v minus, again, I will substitute gamma e to the power plus alpha plus j beta x into e to the power j omega t, right? So, I got this equation after substituting the gamma as alpha plus j beta. Now, what I am going to do is, I am going to take this 
one by one part for this part and the this part let's understand what is this actually okay so for timing we'll rub this and we'll continue with that equation now as i said for a lossless medium i'm going to take alpha is equal to 0 so that equation will become so i'm only considering this part of the equation later we'll look into the this part of the equation so it would be v plus e to the power minus j beta x e to the power j omega t same way if you write that another part it would be plus v minus e to the power j beta x e to the power j omega t right now if i continue writing this equation e to the power minus j beta x can be written like this can be written like v plus e to the power j omega t minus beta x right you can see that i can combine that equation plus v minus e to the power j omega t plus beta x I can also write this equation in the form of V plus cos omega t minus beta x and this would be nothing but plus V minus cos omega t plus beta x. Remember what is this? This is nothing but your V x comma t or nothing but the voltage in space and time right so we got this equation now what is this equation actually telling me now if you recall the basic equation of an electric field which we have discussed in the plane wave right what was that equation let's recall that equation we'll rub this so that equation was if you recall e was given by an electric field a plane wave equation is e naught e to the power minus alpha z cos omega t minus beta z some x cap. This was the basic e equation. Remember what it was the meaning is that it's nothing but this is nothing but your attenuation constant. It means that it was telling you then it's an e field moving along the z direction or the propagation along the z direction where the variation of electric field is along the x axis, right? If I compare this and this equation let us compare this part what it is saying is it has also some constant right for the lossless medium what will it become for the lossless medium this will become e naught cos because alpha would be 0 e to the power 0 is 1 so cos omega t minus beta z x cap and this is for lossless condition this is for lossless condition now so, this equation and this equation if I compare, okay, so what I can say is, this is the wave equation, remember, this was the wave equation of an electric field, no, but I am dealing with the voltage, right, how can the voltage be the wave, right, so what actually this equation is saying that, the voltage which will be flowing in this circuit, or I can say that the voltage which will be flowing in the transmission line will have the nature of wave actually. So, the conclusion is the voltage will be traveling in the transmission line like a wave. This is what it is saying. Now, if this was the wave, so this is the wave which is traveling in minus beta x x means plus x direction. And this would be the wave which is traveling in minus x direction. So, you can see that there are two waves or the voltage is traveling like a wave, one is traveling in the plus x direction, another is traveling in the minus x direction, right. So, let us say that this is your plus x. So, let us say this is the circuit. The voltage will be traveling, one voltage will be traveling forward, 
right which is nothing but this part there will be another wave which will be traveling backward right so that will be nothing but given by this wave so the conclusion is the voltages in the transmission line will be traveling like a wave the nature of the voltage will be like a wave and one part of the voltage or the voltage will be traveling one in forward direction another will be traveling in the backward direction right if you conclude about the current if on the same way if you go ahead and solve for the current you will get the same equation as the voltage is also wave nature what you will find it out current will also have the wave nature so one part of the current will be traveling forward another part you will see that it is traveling backward so what we have concluded from here is the voltages and the current in the transmission line will have the wave nature and they will be traveling forward and backward at the same time.